Good morning. How are you? This is Wendy from Cass Gamma Early Learning Center. Wow, it's nice to see you again this week. Have you made any craft last week for Valentine's Day? The Lacha. You can show Miss Joanne later on. Okay. Now, Miss Wendy is going to show you something. The topic today is like multiculture. So today I'm going to make you teach you how to make a nice multiculture. Yes. but we will use different color and you can choose whatever color you like so i'll show you the material and what you need first so we need what color is this red color paint i actually mix a little bit of blue in there so that it will stick better and we need a paper plate and of course, I need a pair of scissors. Um, so today we're make, gonna make red color and with blue patterns. Okay, blue pattern that we use blue. Mm, you can find darker blue or any sky blue you like. So that's all we need. Very simple. Okay, let's start. Okay, there we go. Pair of scissors. So very careful with it. We just need to cut. Can you see the line from here? Okay. We just need to cut this circle out. Follow the line. Yeah, let's begin. We're gonna do snip, one snip in, and we cut. Okay, cut along the line, the circle. Snip, 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 snip. You can do it. It's, it's okay if you not, can, cannot cut as fast as me. That's fine because this needs practice. Or you can ask mommy or daddy or grandma, grandpa to help you. There. There's a go. Now, what we have to do, we just mix the glue with the red paint. We'll just paint it. Yeah, so everywhere to make a color red. We're gonna make it red just with blue patterns today. So if you want some other color, it's fine. Okay, be flexible because everyone has different favorite colors. Okay, you may like orange, you may like yellow, green. It really doesn't matter what color you like, okay? Yeah, got my red, because I do like red, and sometimes I like yellow. That's why I make two different ones. So I can do match my clothes with yellow color and red, right? Nearly done. Yeah, there we go. Wow, a little bit more. Nearly there. Huh. Very nice. Can you see that? Now it's all red. Right? Right. I'm going to clean my hands. Mm -hmm. So, now, I'm going to fold this paper. Mm, you just fold, fold it into half. Into half. And then half again. Right. Maybe it's up to you if you want to fold more, but I just fold it one time, twice. Okay, half and half. Then I start cutting little small triangles. Right? You ready? So start snip, snip. So the triangles, we're just going to do triangle pattern today. Can you say triangle? Small triangle. So, there you go. Small. And so one triangle, two triangles, three triangles, ah, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So how many do you want to cut? Maybe you just cut 10 now. But you know what happened? Even when you cut 10, first we have folded the paper twice. So it will, even with one cut, it, you end up have four triangles. Like, okay, we cut that from the middle and you actually got four little triangles. Can you see one, two, three, four. So you got four little triangles there. Right? Okay. Then we can just cut them all from, from the middle and you end up have four little triangles. Okay? Wow. Then all of them. So if you, actually, if you want to fold a bit more, then you end up having more triangles. Right? So I, I'm going to fold it one more time. Right? Then you may end up have more triangles. So big or small, it's up to you, right? Even more. So now that one, look, look at this one. I will count this one for you, right? It's very small, but if I cut that from the middle, you end up half, look, so can you see? Ooh, wow. How many now? Can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's supposed to be eight. Oh, yeah, because that's double up. A drop. Yeah, look, two here. Ready? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy, isn't it? Now we can start pacing them onto. So it's up to you this way or that way. Maybe we can start pacing. We like lovely pattern with triangle shapes, right? Let's see how many we can do. Ah, there we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we have one more layer that will turn up very nice necklace. Okay. So like that. We've got 12 here. And what about if you can put another 12 on top? See what it's going to turn out. One. Two, that. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cut that. Ten, eleven, twelve. Look at a nice pattern. Can you see that? I'm gonna put that on myself. Oh, maybe. How does it look? Do you like my necklace? Isn't it nice? Yeah. You can make your own too. Okay, you can actually finish up. And I show you the one that it's already dry. Then I make a yellow and white one. To, to wear. You can turn that into actually a hat. Nice hat. Let me see. Like that. Can you see? Nice hat. Yeah. Isn't nice? Okay. Go, go home and try and make your own.
All right, that's that's it for me. And I will see you next week. Have a good week, okay? Bye-bye.